Hawaii educators are a step closer to getting some much needed support and money. State lawmakers approved a measure this morning that secures millions of dollars for Hawaii's education system. And teachers are calling it a win. Christy Tomashiro with details of tonight's top story. Hawaii public schools are applauding lawmakers as a measure to set aside $29.7 million in federal stimulus funds passed on Thursday. Public school educators are expected to receive a $2,200 bonus. What we are just simply saying is we appreciate all the hard work that you have done, teachers, and then this is just a small token of appreciation for you to continue, hopefully, your work. The teachers' union says the one-time payment bonus is a step in the right direction. We already have, still have a teacher shortage crisis in Hawaii. You know, this is going to help retain it. We need to deal with that long term. Under the measure, $110 million will also address school level needs, like keeping campuses cool. As a, an example, in Maui, there was there was reports, verified reports of teachers li literally fainting in classrooms that were just simply overheated, over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And so that is not acceptable. Over the years, people have been putting them in personally. Um, but we know that we have thousands of classrooms that still need to be get done. The measure will also help to safely reopen campuses, where Malu Elementary knows all too well about digging into their own pockets. Last year, they made dozens of DIY sneeze guards. Financially, um, makes us feel like you know, makes us feel a little better and a little bit at ease about going into this next school year, not having to dip into our funds. You know, um, kind of caught us by surprise last year that you know it's something we didn't budget for. Funds will also cover shortage differentials for special education and Hawaiian language immersion educators. While there's still more work to be done, lawmakers say they're glad to see some progress. We have a systems problem, and our system is not set up to properly support our teachers. Therefore, our teachers cannot fully and properly support our students. And so as we move forward, we need to continue to look at ways in which we can make adjustments. Lawmakers tell me there are rollover provisions in place for teachers and schools. The bill now heads to Governor Ige's desk for approval. Chrissy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.